Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I just finished having my five minutes of silence in honor of today being 9-11. And I will be honest, one of my biggest pet peeves in the last oh arguably 13 years has been how people have handled 9-11 and their emotions to it. Now, I can't speak for everyone because, you know, yeah, I'll go into the story more, but I did lose a father and it still irks me. It still upsets me. And I still wish he was around today. And I can't imagine how it feels to have someone who just goes and does such a horrible thing, thing like this. I feel for the victims because they lost a father, or a mother, or a niece, or a nephew, or a best friend. And, you know, because it wasn't just those people. Like, there were even people who were Islamic. I know a lot of people like to deny that Islamic people or even in this case, but I guess it's because we live in a country that still views that everyone is Christian, or everyone is Jewish, or everyone is Catholic, or something. I don't know. Hey, I used to get, I used to think my uh, best friend was Jewish, and even though she went to a Catholic school, I kind of was thinking, well, yeah, you're open minded enough. Why can't Jewish people come to my school? Last time I said, we're a private school, and I'm aware of the fact we had church and all that stuff, but just because we had church doesn't mean you couldn't, you know, say, hey, I don't follow that religion, so I can't really be here on those days, and not be there first thing in the morning. You get to sleep in longer. But, anyways, back to 9-11. What really struck me the hardest about 9-11 is knowing that there's people out there, whether it's religion or not, who wanted to kill people on whatever reason that there was. You know, there could be a thousand reasons. Some people argue it's because people don't like America. And that's arguable. Ar yeah, but then what did Americans do to them to make them hate them? The, uh, so much to the point where they wanted to come here. And to those people, and I know this is going to piss off some of my viewers probably, I don't know, I don't know your personal thinking or beliefs. So, yeah, you know, if that's the case, well, I kind of want to apologize for what we did. You know, I don't know why you guys are coming over here and trying, why you came over here to hurt us, but whatever we Americans did to you, I'm sorry. You know, and whatever we're doing to the Islamic people here, and we continue to do here, I'm sorry. Okay. Because, in my vision, sorry, something fell. <laughs> it was wrong. And I'm sorry. But, that's besides the point. Okay. Not to say I'm not sorry, but that's besides the point. It affected me in a almost... I wanted... I was very, very angry. Very angry at this, because... How dare someone hurt someone else like this? I don't care if religion is your reason. I don't care what we did. It was still wrong. And then on the other side, like I said, I apologized. I'm sorry, but I'm angry with you. I'm not happy with what you did to our country. Okay? You hurt people. And, to be fair, we were both wrong. 
both sides are equally wrong. But, you know, it's, it's just emotions going everywhere here. Please don't take what I say seriously, okay? I'm doing this video in honor of those people who lost those people. Apologizing for people who did not deserve to die and get mistreated. And continue to be mistreated in our country because, you know, you have the same religion of the same person who destroyed our country. Yeah. Um, let's see, what other problems do we have here? Oh, I probably say, I remember our school deciding in honor of this day. This is back when I was 11 years old, and I will be honest, this was not something that made me happy. Because I didn't think it really helped me so much. Hopefully it helped someone else, but I know it didn't help me because I was really not happy about the situation. And what happened, because, to be honest, me wearing a little t-shirt, wearing, well, not a little t-shirt, it was, it said, age-appropriate shirt, but, but wearing a t-shirt that had the American flag on it. It did not make me feel American. It made me feel like... I mean, I hope it helps someone. I really do. But, I kind of felt like... How can I go on being patriotic? How can I go on believing that America is a good place? And a safe place of that, when people come in and bomb a building and hurt thousands upon thousands of people. You know, I hope it does give someone else a little bit of hope, because that was what it was supposed to be. It was an honor of those victims. And I'm glad my school did it. I'm happy to live in a country where the flag is waving and stuff like that. I'm glad that our country has proven to be a strong moral fiber in a lot of ways. And to that, I'm also glad that we do go over to other countries and say, yes, you, we shall help free you and stuff. Even though know, there's times where I wish we'd just leave the people alone. Especially nowadays, I really wish that we would. Because it's not democracy these people need. It's they need to get away from their government. They don't necessarily want to eradicate their government. They just want these people to stop messing with them. Okay? Because, yes, it does affect us. As environmentally wise, yes, it does. But, you know, if it doesn't, then, yeah, but... I still feel like, well, yeah, but knowing that there are people in those countries that are getting harmed and killed, it upsets me too, because when you think about it, they didn't want to kill us. It was on orders. Not even their orders. And that's actually kind of what bothers me. It's kind of a, well, okay, someone hit me. You know, it's the same equivalent if some kid in your class has some serious issues, maybe say, and this kid won't stop bugging you, won't stop, won't leave you alone, and part of that reason is, it's because at home he doesn't get any, he gets neglected. He himself is also a victim. Likewise with bullies or anyone else. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Am I supposed to go up and conk this idiot? Or am I supposed to be like, fine, I'll help you. So I said. And I kind of see where that's a problem. Because I'll admit, don't we all sort of want to get mad at Iraq for what it's doing? Don't we want to get mad at America for continuing to be a police state? 
and telling these other countries what they can and cannot do, or, you know, you need to become a democracy and keep forcing that upon them. Huh? Anyways, that concludes my video for today. I plan on doing another video in for my continuing birth happy birthday to me. I know, selfish as that sounds, I just doing it for, for the fun of it all, folks. Don't don't judge me. And I say with a raised tea mug to you and an honor to those people who lost so many people lost lives I lost lives in this situation I'm sorry that this isn't scripted but I wanted to go off of raw emotion not just you know I didn't want it to sound like I was reading from a piece of paper I was afraid it would have sounded disingenuous you know not genuine however Again, please follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and if you want to, subscribe. If not, thank you for watching this video, and till next year, huh?